Hi, welcome back to the channel. You join me in the week between uh, Christmas and New Year. It's, it's a very packed workshop here. Uh, I have cars and bits from the office everywhere. It's my desk there, look. Um, yeah, there's, we're, pretty, we're pretty tightly packed in here at the moment. What I'm gonna do now is just get out of the house and get back in the garage. So uh, it's the week between Christmas and New Year and it was always my intention to start doing um, a little bit of work on the left-hand drive RX-5. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and turn this little mess into something a little bit more palatable. Probably won't get done in one day. First things first, I'm going to put it up on one of our ramps. <laughs> You just watch that in fast forward that's a lot more harder doing it manually than it is with the nut gun wow right where do we start i think we'll start with the side lights what a great place to start so there is a little knack to doing up these headlights and that is we do a spacer but the guys in the workshop have forgot to give me the spacer so I'm gonna do these up finger tight with a view that they'll come undone again. I just want them held in there so that I can test what I'm doing, that's all. I meant to do that. I meant to do that. Fail at the first hurdle. Well, with that in mind, I need to go and get some heat shrink because I can't go any further without it, which is a bloody shame, but never mind. Let's get some heat shrink. <laughs> down point about recording on a mobile phone is I've just been talking to myself for the last 10 minutes somebody sent me a text message and it decided it was gonna not record what I was saying so if you've missed a bit sorry about that I blame the tools right what's next so let's lay this cable around to the front of the car so it's that that's the cable there it's all that slot here oh it's got wrapped around my tripod there we go so hopefully that is sufficient to go through this hole that, that I made earlier now you'll notice that what I haven't done is I haven't started to um, clamp together all of the the wires. When I say clamp, I mean like tape them all. So I don't like taping wires together when I'm doing something like this. It's, it just makes it really hard. Little sucker. What I'm going to do is I shall put all this lot in a wrap. So don't stress if this looks uh, a bit of a mess. It'll all be... It'll all be all right on the night, of course. I now need to make sure I've got everything, which I haven't, because I'm missing one, which is there. In this little loom here. So, that just needs now a little bit of split conduit on that. See, look, started to make a loom there. That's the uh, wiper motor. Don't know where I'm gonna put that, probably in there. Yeah, there's some bits of the loom that are gonna need to be extended. I wanna put a um, big, juicy fat earth all the way down to the front and then the plan is to earth everything from that big fat juicy earth what i shall do is run an earth block up here somewhere and then that will go down to the front and what I'm, my plan is is to earth everything in one place so that if you get an earthing problem it's not going to be like on a, a riv nut or something like that down the bottom there i don't like doing that what mazda do is they run an earth front to back, um, front to middle, basically. So they don't have, and I don't like doing that, like little points on the, they don't have points on the, uh, in the loom, the, the, the earths. They earth out, like, there's a central, there's gonna be a central earth, and this is gonna be the one that goes front to back. I mean, it's a big old fat cable, so it handled plenty of, plenty of uh, current 
bothered about the amount of current that goes through it. My hooter is not long enough, so I need to extend the hooter around, or the horn, or whatever you want to call it, hooter horn. Now the good thing about this bit, the section that I'm doing and working on at the minute, is it's tucked up behind the bulkhead, so you can't actually see any of the wires that go from front to back, or anything like that. They're, they're, they're all locked where they need to be. All of these dimensions as well of where to put the uh, loom are all in the manual. Now, here's where what we've got. We've got a white wire, a red wire, and a thick green wire. Now they are for the, the, the that ho headlight over there. So I've got to extend them right the way around to that headlight over there. And I've got to extend the, the brown, which is the hooter. I've got to extend the brown. I've got loads of extending to do. So I'm going to run two looms. I'm going to run, because this is a left-hand drive car, I'm going to run the loom around here and into there, and I've got down here. So you've got two of these particular switches, all right? One of them's a push to make, the other one's a push to break. One is the clutch. So if you've got cruise control, when you depress the clutch, it cuts the cruise control off, which I'm kind of liking cruise control in a seven. Not too bad. I like the idea of that. So I need to extend these three wires which is the red green and white which is for the headlight uh round i could do with a nice thick red a nice green and a nice white so i'm just going to extend round the near side front headlights and the near side front horn it's slightly too short obviously it's part of the manual <sighs> part of the manual this is involved in, or well, you, you do need to extend these bits all eyes around. But they're pretty basic. It's not, it's not beyond the wit of man. I know that looks like a bird's nest. Don't worry about that at the moment. We'll get that all nice and trim. And you'll look at that at the end of this video and go, wow, what a great job. Well, I'm hoping you will anyway. Oh, look at that. Solid. That's nice. That's nice. Right, bit of heat drink. We will take it apart at a later date to tidy it up and put it in conduit. But for the moment, it's probably best just doing what I'm doing. I've got to get it into the right place. You've got to get the loom right. So it's going to run round the front chassis rail. Sean's going to freak at me, but I'm actually going to just tie wrap these around around here. He'll freak at me because he don't like it. He doesn't like using tie wraps around things. He wants to put and rightly so. We'll put some saddle bushes underneath there. So there's your white that I've just done running round. I need the new green. That's part of the headlight package. Yellow goes round there because that is the fan. <clears throat> then I've got new red. A green white is right indicator. So that's going to come up to this. This is the repeater. Then it's going to come up to uh, another block here and then it's going to go round so I'm going to put another block in about here for um, the the nose cone indicators <laughs> these indicators or the headlights will go through uh, about here underneath just underneath and then they'll pick up in this gap here and likewise on the other side so I'm left with a, a a white, I've got another uh, green, black. Now that's handy because that can come up here and that's my indicator for the for the front nose cone. So you bring the nose cone indicators up just here. I've got brown, which is the horn. So that's going to go around the other side. So that can go through. Earth's black. Now I've got a single earth there. I'm probably going to do with that earth. 
he's run I've obviously got to run another earth to the other side I've got to run an earth to the horn I've got to run an earth somewhere else what I might do what Mazda do is they get they use these earth terminals earth in blocks so what I might do is use an earth block I ain't made my mind up yet don't know if I need to I can run it all out of the the, uh, the single earth but so what I've got left is a I've got these ones that I tape together. This is the orange. Uh, you've got a red orange, a white, and a red. I've then got a an indicator, which is green, white for right. I've got a black, which I'm going to do something with, probably multi-joint that, and then string it back. So I have a central. I might have a central uh, block of, of earths, and then I'll run it back. Um, that might be easier. I've got to have one for the headlights, side lights. I need one for the fan, one for the horn. Mm, probably don't need one for the horn, actually. Headlight, side light on the other side. So I can run that into a multi-joint. Oh, and I need one for the, the indicators as well. So this is about the right length for me. What I need to do now is cut that about there and that's going to form the basis of the plug for the right hand headlight this one here that's a six way plug and what I shall do is um, I'm going to put the pinouts in the right place so the pinouts need to go in a certain place certain order certain I don't know what you'd call it really but I need to go and find out what they are but I'm going to be running a side light an earth a side light an earth and then three for the headlights easy peasy right yeah, you might think. 